Hello everyone. Happy Friday. So, um, I want to try something different today. And by different, um, I'm going to do short messages for all signs. And it's not going to be a particular order. Um, I'll just say them as they come to me. And if it resonates, great. Let me know. Um, if not, then that's fine. You know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <clears throat> so first sign is Aries. Um, you need to believe in yourself more. And you have trust issues with others because you don't trust yourself. Um, take that however that works for you. Um, Gemini. You're trying to do too many things at once and that's why nothing is getting done. Um, you need to focus in on one thing <clears throat> and try to master that. Um, and once you master that, then you can add something else into the equation. Okay. Um, Aquarius. You know what to do in order to get to where you're going. But you overthink it to the point where you feel like you're not good enough in a sense. It's like you know you have the skills, but you feel like you're not good enough. But what it's going to take is for you to feel worthy of the place that you're trying to be in and your destination. <laughs> okay. Um, Leo. Life for you right now is feeling pretty new um i'm hearing new stumping grounds something is new for you and i'm just seeing like you just you know you're like enjoying it you are what do you call it um you are basking in it you are basking in newness Okay, Sagittarius. Um, I'm hearing patience for you. Things aren't moving as fast as you like for them to move. And I think your lack of patience has been causing delays. You have to understand that everything happens in divine timing and you can only control things to a certain extent. Okay? So we're going we gonna to let God have that. What we cannot control, we're going to let God have it. Um, Cancer. You are learning to love yourself more. You are learning to give yourself the love that you so freely give others you are learning to love yourself unconditionally you are fully embracing all of you who you are as a person okay Libra I feel like you are coming out of a space of isolation, um, maybe a little depression that I'm feeling. A little depression, like you're <clears throat> you're in the space of uh, trying to find yourself again. And I, I'm just going to say, be patient with yourself. There's no rush to healing. As long as you're, like, moving forward and you're not um, digressing. 
Yeah, be patient with yourself. Go through all the emotions. It's okay. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. You're learning to move on your own. Um, there may be a little codependency. Mm, this could be... I want to say relationship-wise, but it, but it doesn't even have to be that. This is just like you learning to be on your own. Like, really learning to be on your own. Like, not having any outside energies. Like, this is hermit mode. You are going within. Like, this is no distractions. So, you're... It's sending you to a place where you're diving deep. Um, you're diving deep within yourself. Okay, Scorpio... You're learning to love who you are as a person. Ooh, without having your sexual um oh, what's the word for it? Basically not involving what you can do sexually, of course. <laughs> But you're learning your worth outside of that. Um, you're learning that you do have more to offer. And you're also learning that you have to have more to bring to the table. It's like you can't um, you can't play both sides no more. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Like, that's why I'm feeling for Scorpios. Like... I feel like you're in a place now where you have to choose. There's something you have to choose. Okay. Did I forget anybody? Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus is learning to <clears throat> not seek outside validation. You know, a lot of people view Taurus as these hard body, you know, manipulative, narcissistic people, but they really have like this soft spot. So Taurus is like learning how to express themselves in the correct way. They are learning to gather their emotions appropriately. Okay. So there is no lashing out. You're communicating. You're allowing yourself to express the emotions. Okay. You're not really worried about how you're going to be viewed when you do express, you know, how you really feel. Okay. Um, you don't have to lie. And I think that's what you're learning. You don't have to lie. Um, yeah. Let's see. Capricorn. Capricorn. You're in transition right now. I feel like you have already had, you know, I don't know, I'm sensing this. Dark night of the soul, ego death, um, because you're no longer aligning your worth with what you can do for people. Okay? And mainly financially, being able to provide. You're learning your worth outside of that. Um, and literally just learning to flow. And not being in control at all times. You're learning to flow. 
and learning that it's okay not to be in control. Everything isn't going to go how you plan. Um, so you're finding comfort in flowing. You're finding comfort in flowing. Um, I think I did all of the signs. Okay, so I'm going to just have to add this in because I did forget somebody. Um, Virgos. Okay, the vibe is giving those who were last come first. Those who were counted out are being counted in. Like, that's what the vibe just gave. I don't know. But, like, y'all are in this thriving energy, like, it's like, it's y'all time right now. I don't know. Y'all lit right now. That's the energy I feel. Y'all lit. Like, y'all were like, it's giving underdog that came up to the top. They counted you out, but now they got to count you in. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Now I'm done. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Y'all can let me know what you think. Give me feedback. And everyone have a blessed day.